Manifest Season 4 has just arrived on Netflix and the final outing is split into two parts. The Part 1 finale ended on the ultimate cliffhanger as Cal Stone, played by Titer Ann, succumbed to his cancer. This was until Zeke Clandon, Matt Long, realized it was his duty to give Cal another chance. Warning, this story contains spoiler see Zeke dead in Manifest. Manifest viewers were left in shock after they discovered the dreaded death date was not just for 828 passengers. After receiving an apocalyptic calling, the group realized the date in fact marked the end of the world for everyone. This happened just after they found the sapphire they needed to control the callings, but Angelina Meyer, Holly Taylor, had stolen it. As Michaela, Melissa Roxborough, and Ben Stone, Josh Dallas, went to track her down, Zeke was taking care of Cal. He knew he was close to the end of his life and Zeke wanted to make his last moments special. It became clear very quickly that Zeke, who was able to take the pain of others from them, had made a difficult decision. Zeke knew Cal had to live in order to save the world as the chosen one, so he held Cal's hand and took his pain from him. However, he knew that in doing so, it would mean he needed to die and he made one last phone call to Michaela. In an emotional moment, he told him how much he loved her and that they would meet again under the stars. Michaela sobbed as she realized Zeke was willing to sacrifice himself to save Cal. By the end of the series it appears Zeke is in fact dead, as he swapped his life for Cal's. However, this is not to say he can be brought back as stranger things have happened in the supernatural drama. The finale did not show Zeke's funeral and he was not officially pronounced dead, so he may still be on the cusp of life. Cal may have the power to be able to save Zeke as it appears he was sent back to save mankind. If time could be altered, Zeke's heroic actions may never have needed to occur and he could be revived. Dot speaking to Screen Rant about his empathetic abilities, he said, his empathic abilities have progressed, so much so that he can actually sort of control them now and use them for good. But Terry's a flip side of that. They've come to define him, and he doesn't really know who he is without them and that puts him in a dangerous position. So then naturally, a person with his history, with addiction issues, Terry's always that temptation there. He did promise fans that all of the crucial questions will be answered before the series ends. He told CBR.com, obviously, it's a series-long question of what happened to the passengers. Where did they go? Why did they return this way? And what does it all mean for everybody? All of those questions will be answered. The payoffs are there for the fans. The time and energy and all the passion they have had is going to be rewarded. Elsewhere in the part 1 finale, Ben saw his dead wife Grace, Athena Kirkconnis, again and she asked him to bring Eden, Brooks Johnson, to her so she could help him save Cal. However, all along it was Angelina using her newfound powers to trick Ben into handing over his daughter, who had learned to love her dad again. Angelina also tried to trick Cal into giving up hope but he was able to destroy the sapphire in his calling in the nick of time. However, she found a fragment of the sapphire and could well use it to destroy the world. Manifest Season 4 Part 1 is on Netflix now. A release date for Part 2 is yet to be revealed, 